everyone, welcome back to my latest trapping video. Today we'll be doing a uh, count overview of my solo trap. So we'll actually just start with the troop comp for the first thing we'll be going over. So my current troop comp is kind of basic. It's 2.6 mil gladiators, 2.6 mil reptilian riders, and about 7 million archers, um, depending on how many times I get pirates. Um, and also usually I have around 100,000 tier 1 ballistas, but I have been getting pirates a lot lately and I lost like 30,000 from just the pirates. Um, the tier three uh, uh, stealth snipers and the royal cab you don't actually need those i use those actually for baiting it's not part of the actual comp that's more like i'll send them to tiles and stuff so when people scout it they'll see a bunch of tier three and i'm farming the tier three so they'll think that i'm not a solo trap sort of thing like that so there, there's a bunch of different baits you can do with that but that's the reason i have a couple tier three um, i had some before just for attacking and stuff but um, in these kingdoms i just use it for baiting um, so that's the troop comp um, base, the basis behind that is you have two front lines, you have your uh, tier 2 gladiators and your uh, cav, your infantry and cav, you can switch between, so I'll take almost all hits in cav, but I'll be sitting in uh, what's called infantry just for those range hits because they do way more damage than uh, what's called an infantry or uh, a cab blast would do just just because how the phalanxes work is all that stuff. So um, always sit in infantry phalanx. Um, and then you can switch the cav for, let's say, cav or infantry hits, and then just in case those ranged hits come in, stay in that for any gangbangs or anything like that. So that's that's what I sit in. I sit in uh, infantry. Um, that's my front line. Um, this one works for most leaderless stuff as well, so it's basically the comp is really strong. For titans and stuff, I need my gear, but um, tier 5 familiar stuff like that, you'll need gear for it. But otherwise, anything else, usually uh, that comp can uh, take care of it, just with the base stats. So I'll go over actually the talents. People always are like, what are your talents? It's it's basic. So whatever you need in your talent for your account, if you need more HP, well, I mean, I always max HP, um, but what? let's say you need more range or cav or infantry, um, you can always put more points into those, but I always max these ones at the bottom, squad health, uh, range three, cav three, infantry three, and then I, I actually max cavalry offense, um, just for like, uh, and ranged offense. I don't have as much in infantry, so you could switch that around. If you want more infantry attack, you can put an infantry. I also max squad health one, and then I put a, and then nothing really else, in, anything else other than like one point into that, and maxing squad offense one as well for the uh, army attack. That's basically my talents, if you guys are wondering. Um, I'll go into wall heroes before I go into gear, and because I'm going to kind of go into depth into the gear and why I did it. But um, wall heroes are here. Um, I do have, actually, another cav hero. So depending on what I'm doing, um, I actually have six gold heroes, two of each, so I can always switch out whatever I want. Um, a lot of times I'll actually run two cav heroes and only one infantry hero. Um, but that's just because infantry attacks are harder to take out, so that's why I'll have an extra cav hero on there. Just because infantry has a lot more HP, so those, like, those quote-unquote titans that's an infantry blast you might have a hard time capping them so having two cav heroes on your wall really does help you can even switch out your range hero let's say switch out that and put a cav or some, something like that whatever you want to do um but yeah that's only for against infantry the other two attacks you can have whatever you want so that's that and then oh yeah sorry familiar i guess i should show you where's my station here it is this is the familiar i use it's uh it's a, uh, what's called Aquarius. Um, it reduces the army's max HP by 15%. I only have one slot, so that's the one I chose. And I already had it maxed out to Elder um, before familiars and, like, familiar attacks came out. So I already had that one out, so that was easy. Um, you can also do the other one that increases your HP by 15%. That's the uh, Worm. And there's a bunch of, there's a couple other ones, too, uh, where I'll go into it here. Packs. Uh, here you go. Let's see. These ones are actually pretty good, too. Um, yeah, these ones, are, it, you can actually reduce the enemy's max HP. So there's a couple of these ones in the Tier 1 are really good. They At the start of the battle, they reduce um, your uh, enemies. So if you want to run three familiars, you can run three of these, and you'll, they'll have negative 40% across the board. Um, but yeah, I, I have the uh, what's called Aquarius. That's the one I use. So, And then the next one will be gear. So we'll go through my gear. Um, this is not my gear. This is my gear. Um, and I'll show you the stats on the gear. I've got 184 range on this, uh, 145 infantry, 152 cav, and then 32% army HP and some army defense. And then I have infantry defense as well um, and some range and infantry HP as well. Um, but that's because I actually have um, some gold terror jewels in my gear right now. Uh, I, I was messing around with jewels and that was kind of gave me the best attack right now because I have... 
a bunch of infantry attack jewels and then some terror jewels and i was just messing around because um the uh, gold what's called uh purple uh infantry attack jewels they usually have 12 percent, so it's technically more attack than the uh terror jewels i have in there but the terror jewels also gave 10 percent defense and allowed me to take a couple purples out and create another gold so that's kind of what's going on so i'll go through each piece um main hand here is a uh, fiery tomahawk i have purple jewels and uh, gold jewel in that one um this one's really good uh purple frostwing sword's technically better so if you have that you can do that but i don't have a purple frostwing sword so i'm stuck with the fiery tomahawk um the mythic scimitar is really good um, the other one is the uh, gloves you can use. Uh, I forget what they're called, the uh, winter mitts, but they got to be gold to be better. Purple winter mitts are not as good as uh, lunar scimitar, so if up until gold, keep the lunar scimitar. Once you get gold winter mitts, they're better. You can switch it out. Um, but yeah, same thing, purple across the board. Um, these free-to-play rings are really good. They give 8.4%, uh, what's called infantry and range attack, and 3.5% uh, army HP, full, gold full purple jewels in that one. Same thing with the uh, other one here. Uh, this one, I also have full purple jewels. And then obviously the, uh, the cup, which was thanks to the bargain store that gave us so many of those, uh, halos. So I was able to make a blue cup. So that one obviously is really good. It gives infantry HP and range HP. And then I full purple jewels in that one too. Um, the legs here, I think that's like 16 point something percent attack on cav and range. So also really good. These are the mythic honeycomb chaps. These are all like sort of free to play items you can get. So they're really easy to get. I have an infantry gold in there and then two purples. And here we go. The B, uh, armor, which I can actually upgrade, but I'm not going to, I'm going to wait actually to upgrade my helmet. Cause I want to upgrade the helmet first. Um, cause it gives army HP. So it's a little better. Um, this one. Yeah. I, oops. I just took it off. Let's put it back on there. Okay, looking at it. Um, yeah, so I got the gold terra jewel and then two purple jewels in that one. Um, very good piece as well. Um, if you have a what's called firewall plate, you could actually use that instead, but it should be blue if you want to use that. I only have green, so I'm not using that. Um, then the last one will be the helmet, which I also have another gold purple terra jewel. I got really lucky on terra jewels, if, if you guys haven't, didn't realize. I got these from guild chests. Um, and then I got two, two other purples in there, and obviously the Bumble Heat Bee Helm is like the best in slot for, I believe, for trapping. Um, it gives a lot of HP and then cab and range on that. And then the infantry attack and infantry defense is from the terror jewel. So that's my that's my gear. Um, those are kind of the pieces you want. You can also use a beast helm or a indulgent visage if you're wondering other pieces in that one. Um, for the, the for the body, I'd go for the firewall plate or the uh, what's called hardened carapace. The legs, you, there's a bunch of choices. You can either go storm tassets or dragon talons or the mythic honeycomb chaps. Uh, champ, if you have a high enough champ, but this is just, I use this one for speed up. Um, don't go this one. This is just cav. Unless you really need cav, then you can go that one. Um, sort of the offhand, like I said, the mitts are good. Uh, the eternal codex is good if it's high enough, but mine is not. It's only green. Um, rings, um, you can go blight rings, um, but usually they want to be like gold, I would say. Um, purple's okay, but gold i'd go for that one uh or purple i guess purple's okay for blight rings but um if you have the drums or the terror vials uh down here they need to be at least gold if you're going to be using a combo of those uh purple is not as good as this ring just letting you know so um this has to be gold or mythic gold or mythic same with this and then you can put it in your gear um obviously the cup is good especially if it's blue um so if that's my gear um we'll go over the research um this is kind of oops can't cancel what Damn it. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was uh, messing my uh, buttons up there. So we'll go to research next. So the next thing we'll look at is the research. So military for me, I have basically max pre 25 military. So that means tens across the board in attack, um, nines on defense, nines on HP, and then nines on armies as well. So that's my base. There's a lot of might in there. You can go less if your gear is really good, but I do this because leaderless trapping is something I do and I need really high base stats because if you're leaderless trapping, you don't have your gear, you don't have your talents, you are reliant on these base stats. So if you want to do the leaderless trapping, you have to have um, really high research stats. So that's my research. Um, defense, there's nothing in there. Monster Hunt, I just have like basic level two, some energy regen. There's not much might there. It's like, I don't even know if I upgraded it. Yeah, it'd only be like 4,000 to even upgrade that. So not much might there. Um, economy, you don't need anything really in economy. Um, I would actually, 
um, what's called construction speed. You can put that in. Um, otherwise, you don't really need the rest. I mean, this this was when I was starting, so I still have a couple things in here because I wasn't sure what I was doing with this account. Um, this is my actually my main account, my first account. So it's two and a half years old. So if you're if you're wondering how I got all this stuff, it's two and a half years old. So it's been a long time. Um, don't need anything upgrade defenses, upgrade military. You can use this to get your quick swaps, um, training speed stuff like that barracks expansion if you want that or whatever but um quick swap is something you need um you can also get a second one if you want but i only use one um i've never really needed the to use two because my gear was never really good enough once they see my gear that's not gonna be like oh no i'm not gonna hit that because that guy's gear is amazing uh, my gear is much better than it used to be but still i only have one and usually i don't even sit in gear or anything like that or i, I take a lot of hits without gear so it's not a big thing uh military command you don't really need it oh that's the breakthrough. Yeah, that's why I have that. So this is to get the mythic. Um, just one in each, I think, all you need to get the breakthrough. Um, army leadership. Don't think you actually need... Oh, that's Phalanx. Okay. So if you go to unlock the Phalanx, that's how you do it. Um, oh, I already had infantry. So I just unlocked uh, Cav. I didn't unlock range because I didn't really see a point in unlocking range with my tier 1. Um, tier two three three tier two lines don't really work that well you need a lot of tier two to make up for that tier one so it it, it just doesn't work as well so um the, my my comp is pretty good so that i'd suggest going that don't go full tier two it just doesn't work and definitely don't mix tier two and tier one please do not mix tier two and tier one it does not work it makes you do less damage actually it's it, it it's really bad. Um, and then I think that was research. And then the last thing I guess is troops. So I can look at my infirmary space. I have 640,000 infirmary space. So it's max infirmaries with uh, one uh, barracks just so I can keep building troops if I need to. Uh, other than that, um, you don't really need resource buildings. You can destroy them if you want, but these are so low that there wasn't enough might for me to actually worry about destroying them and i like sometimes have to rebuild and lose troops and all that i do lose troops a lot by the way i do crazy things so i, I do have to rebuild a lot um but i still have lots of speed ups and stuff and I, I i do it within reason and then that's basically the whole overview of the count i don't know if there's anything else people wanted to see um if you wanted to see something else i could always reply to the uh what's called uh the chat down below i'll let you know what you guys want to know or if you have any questions about anything just let me know um again that's my gear um talents oh i didn't show you my stats so i should show you my uh my actual stats with all my stuff on there so that's my current stats i've got 338 infantry 383 range and 351 cav with that gear um with forts obviously much higher but this is without forts um, the infantry attack at 138 is actually because of familiar um i think it was bon appetit or something where is it? This one. Yeah. So this one actually, this actually gave me more. I was actually upgrading that so I can get some uh, cheap stats from that thing. Um, yeah. So I got these ones from the, uh, whatever this thing is called. The, uh, whatever. What is the thing called? <laughs> the luck token place. <laughs> Sorry. I can't remember the name right now. I'm always bad with that. But yeah. So that's my basic stats. Uh, yes. Yeah, so my if or army HP is 306. Army defense is 108. Army attack is an even 100. Um, if I have a leader, it goes up to 130 because I have a max prison. And I keep the max prison for gangbangs and stuff like that because usually once you cap someone, someone tries to gangbang you, you already have the extra 30% attack boost. I do have a uh, altar, and I have an altar boost right now. Okay, <laughs> I know why. I, 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 uh, I used a uh, kill thing that I got from the luck token place to actually kill someone's leader the other day because uh well obviously i can't hold it unless i'm migrating because i'm not taking a mythic uh champ uh, rally that's not going to happen so <laughs> anyway so that's that's my whole account um i don't do arena or anything i haven't done that in a long time um usually i'm not in a kingdom long enough to actually make it worth it so i don't do it um that's basically it um yeah and then those are all my heroes. And I do have a purple trickster. Um, that's from when I was starting and I built that up. You don't need purple trickster or anything like that. Um, tracker, I have blue. And sometimes I use those as like bait leaders, just, just as my like fake leader. So these are my actual heroes. Um, they're all at level... Oh, they're not all at level rank 8. You only need them rank 7, but I use the rank 8 so I can get uh, Rose Knight, so I can unlock that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, leave it in the, in the description down below. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this little overview of my account, and I'll see you guys in the next video.